Hi Church family and welcome to the 1st of June, uh, the first day of the working week and the first day of winter. I hope it's been a great day for you and if not, uh, it's good to know that God still wants to hear from us and, and talk to us. So we're going to come and we're going to read uh, from this book, My Rock and My Refuge, a section of the Psalms and a, there's a reflection and a prayer written by Timothy and Kathy Keller. So here we go, June 1, Psalm 69 verses 1 to 6. Psalm 69 verses 1 to 6. Save me, O God, from the waters, for the waters have come up to my neck. I seek in the merry depths, where there is no foothold. I have come into the deep waters. The floods engulf me. I am worn out, calling for help. My throat is parched. My eyes fail, looking for my God. Those who hate me without reason outnumber the hairs of my head. Many are my enemies without cause, those who seek to destroy me. I am forced to restore what I did not steal. You, God, know my folly. My guilt is not hidden from you. Lord, the Lord Almighty, may those who hope in you not be disgraced because of me. God of Israel, may those who seek you not be put to shame because of me. Hated without reason. Here is a man deeply wounded by slanderer. The false accusations lead to self-accusations because he knows his genuine sins. But rather than think only of his own reputation, he is concerned that other believers might become discouraged because of him. Ironically, a more self-absorbed and hard man would not have cared so much. The more holy we are, the more our heart is bound up with others and with God, and so the more we feel the sadness of the world. Jesus, the perfect man, was a man of sorrows. Godliness leads us to both far happier and far sadder at the same time though the final note is always joy. Let's pray. Lord, when people fall into trouble, I see myself afraid to get involved, lest I be swallowed by their grief. But when you loved me, you got eternally, eternally involved, and it cost you infinite grief. Strengthen me with your grace, so that I can be available and open to the needs of others around me. Amen. Hope you have a great Monday night, and I'll catch you tomorrow.